We're going to begin by asking if you had a real passion for food and for cooking before getting involved in this project and if your relationship with food and cooking changed as a result of making this film. No, I don't have, I, I cannot say that I have passion for mm. food. Uh, for, for, for food. It, it's more about um, the fact that I like eating mm. and, uh, um, you know, good food. And sometimes it could be very simple food, you know, and... Um, uh, but it, it's more about um, uh, a challenge for me as a, a filmmaker um, because um, uh, there, there, there was a, a lot of movies made, uh, you know, about food and, um, and, um, and also broadcasts and it's a lot, you know. Uh, so it's a way for me to find a, a, a new way to present food. So uh, the idea is uh, to show men and women at work. Mm. and uh, doing their craft and uh, I, I try to follow them to see their face to see their body hands and also what's inside the, mm. the, the, the pan mm. um, so it that, that was uh, the, the, the you know the, the main challenge and also um, to make a movie about uh, marital love about harmony um, about that kind of value um, so uh, uh, it's a challenge because uh, it, it could be really boring. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it's not boring. Um, I mean, I'm talking of challenges. I wanted to ask about the technical, uh, the the side of making. Obviously, they're not necessarily. Juliette Binoche is not cooking all of the food we see. So I wondered about creating the the scene to make it appear like they're cooking. Because obviously, I guess you would have had you would have had to have had so much ingredients and cooking and patience. I just wondered about bringing it together and if it and how the how it all worked. I suppose. They, they, they do. The cooking, yeah. They, they cook. Yeah. They cook it real mm. On, mm. on the movie. Mm. Uh, they, they actually cook it, yeah. you know. It's, uh, it's not something that is fake mm. or, or prepared before. No, they, they actually cook it. Mm. Of course, sometime uh, th there was uh, the cook in, in, uh, who is a uh, uh, consultant. Mm. He, he's the one who finished it, you know, for, mm. for the team mm. at, after the, the day of the shooting. But the, they, 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 uh, they did cook everything. Mm. And uh, I, I had some double for the hands for some scenes that uh, sometimes it's dangerous with uh, hot water or with fire or things like that, or some technical, uh, you know. But uh, Benoit and, and Juliette, they want to do everything. Mm. That's why we didn't, you know, use uh, mm. the hands of the double. Mm. So because obviously in a movie, when you shout, uh, usually you can say, right, let's do that. Let's take it from the beginning and stuff. You have to kind of go back and you reset a shot. What was that like here then? Because I suppose but if you've got things boiling in a pan, you can't just start at the beginning again. Yes, that's why we have, uh, if, if it's, mm. uh, it's about uh, cooking a, a chicken, mm. then we would have 20 chicken. Wow. <laughs> yes, something like that. Mm. For, the, for the scene of the, um, the pot au feu, we needed 40 kilos mm. of meat to make the, the pot au feu. Wow. Um, I'm going to ask about, I mean, I know this is based on, on a kind of book and obviously that in turn is based on kind of reality. I wondered about how you came to be aware of this story and yeah, how it sort of came into your life. Oh, it's by chance. Mm. Yes, because I, 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 I'm, I wanted to make a movie about food. So mm. I read a lot of books. Mm. And uh, so at the, at the end, I found this one. Mm. Before this one, th there was uh, some other books, but uh, I, I couldn't make it. So uh, finally, I, I found this book. I wanted to ask, I spoke to Juliet about this as well, and I'm interested to hear your thoughts, but the film has such an, an affection for French culture, and, and, and obviously French cuisine is such a huge part of French culture. And I was wondering, do you think because you're not, you're not from France, do you think that means you're able to present and kind of be, um, and kind of celebrate French culture in a, in a unique way that a French director maybe couldn't? Because I think sometimes you can kind of, um, be more affectionate about someone else's culture than your own, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yes, I'm mm. sure. I'm mm. sure of it because uh, uh, I, I have the feeling that some of the things uh, would be something too natural mm. for, for, for a French uh, person. Mm. But for me, it's, uh, it's new. Everything is, you know, it's, uh, it has, uh, uh, um, it's, it's very vivid, you know, uh, because I'm, I'm a stranger, I see better so, some, some things, you know. Mm. Uh, what I like in, in the French culture is uh, this idea of uh, measure. You know, the French people, they are not uh, um, over the top, you know, mm. never in, in the art and in, in the thinking. So I, I, I quite like this uh, spirit. Mm. 
mm. that I call the French spirit. Mm. Yeah, your sensibilities as a storyteller are very much aligned, I think, with the French spirit you speak of. But have you ever thought about making movies in other parts of the world as well? You know, America, UK, maybe? Yes, yes, of mm. course. I, I would mm. like to, yes. I, I have, uh, uh, I, I did a movie in Japan, so mm. I... I Yes, in UK mm. or in it depends on on the material mm. that that you know that uh, send me a message like a a, a, a challenge you know mm. and then I would take it. And if you talk about kind of French spirit, you couldn't um, do better than working with one of the greatest stars of French cinema, and Juliette Binoche. Uh, what was that collaboration process like with her? Oh, it was very very easy with her because uh, she's uh, such a, a great actress. So uh, we didn't discuss mas- much about, you know, the character or the story, uh, but um, uh, because uh, I like the fact that uh, we discover everything together on, on w- why we are shooting the movie. So we never prepare anything before. And, uh, and the day of the shooting of the scene, then I would decide how to shoot it. And then we, we work together. Is that quite normal for you to work like that? Because she said you didn't give her like script at the beginning. She was writing notes on napkins and stuff like that. Just is that how you you usually work, or is it specific to this project? No, no, it's uh, it's the the way I, I'm working. Mm. Yes, it's uh, I, I like discovering things, you know, while making it. So the, uh, not uh, to prepare something, to have an idea and try to get it on on uh, on on the set. No, I, I would not like it. Mm. Because it's, it's when you see the film, it feels like it's been so meticulously well planned. But actually, are you more you, can you be quite spontaneous then? And, yes, you know? yes, absolutely. Yes, it's uh, because um, uh, it is like I improvise everything, but it need to to be uh, to give the feeling of precision mm-hmm. at the end. Yes. Um, and I was going to ask in regards to casting, because, of course, Juliet and um, Juliet and Benoit, of course, have, have a very rich history together. And Juliet was speaking to me about working with him and how much she enjoyed working with him. But I wondered if you had to speak to both of them beforehand just to make sure it was going to be OK that they could be kind of in, I suppose, be lovers in this movie, because obviously they, they've got a history together as well. No, no. I never talked with them about this. Of course, at the beginning, Juliet told me that... Uh, it, 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 it's not a good idea to have Benoit because she thought that he, 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 he will uh, refuse it uh, anyway, you know. But then when he accepted it, I told her and she said that it, it's going to be uh, difficult. Uh, but then, you know, uh, after a, a day or two of, of the shooting, I can see that it, it went very well. Mm. Yes. Yeah, no, it was it was perfect. But I was going to ask too about sort of your future sort of projects. Are you working on anything at the moment? Are you, have you got anything in development at all? Yes, yes, I would like to make a, uh, a movie about Buddha. Mm. Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. that sounds quite cool. Uh, and I was going to ask about, I just obviously we spoke about you, you wanting to make a movie about food. Um, obviously being, for, you know, so not, not being from France and this, this food is so universal. Do you think that's partly what makes the taste of things such a, uh, so, have such a accessibility because food is something that kind of, unites the whole world. Yes, I think that uh, um, food is a, a language, you know. Uh, it's uh, how to say uh, how uh, that we care for, for people, for the people that we, we, we cook for them, you know. And uh, it's also, uh, cinema is also a language. If I, I speak very well this language, then everything that I'm, I'm showing is, is universal, yes. Well, it was wonderful. Thank you so much for your time Thank today. You. Cheers, Thank man. you very much. Again, Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys!